all, my name is Rocio, and for my teaching approach video, I have decided to go with Positive Behavior Interventions and Support, also known as PBIS. Um, so if you hear me just referring to or saying PBIS a lot, it's just Positive Behavior Interventions and Support. <clears throat> yeah, so PBIS is just a set of ideas, values, and tools that schools use to improve the behavior of students. Um, so it addresses the needs of at-risk students as well as the multi-leveled needs of all students in regards to behavior. Um, so this creates an environment for both teaching and learning to occur in schools. And in contrast to actually PBIS, many schools use ex exclusionary discipline practices that include um, detentions, referrals, suspensions, or even expulsions to separate students from the classroom and from their peers. So PBIS emphasizes preventing the problem behaviors before they happen to increase opportunity for students to learn by keeping them in the classroom. And so basically, um, the outcome of PBIS is kind of just improved student behavior in the school and in their community. Um, so I think something that really stood with me from becoming aware of PBIS is kind of just how decision on how they are going to handle problems. So when I think of PBIS, um, I kind of just think of it diminishing all of the negative ways of disciplinary action like for example suspension as I mentioned a little bit earlier and how it talks a lot about just how it creates a negative experience for the student that is going through that whether it's suspension or detention whether it's for one day to three days or however long it is because it creates a negative environment for the student in the sense that the kid is missing out on the education that they're supposed to be obtaining. So I think what most teachers and, you know, educators fail to for remember is that the student is there for an education. So when you are removing the student from their environment, which is a learning environment, and taking them out of there and placing them at home or in the office, it kind of just creates a negative environment for them because they are missing out and they are now falling behind. So when they go back to class, they no longer feel like, you know, they a sense of belonging. So what PBIS is all about is kind of just creating an environment that's safe, that is welcoming and kind of just nurturing in the sense that, you know, kids wanna be able to participate, be involved in their community, and just have developed social skills. So when I think of becoming an educator or a teacher, I envision myself being or having the ability to be very empathetic and transparent with my students just because I myself have had my fair experience my fair share of experiences with all kinds of teachers and instructors and i think it's very important to understand and realize that every student you have in your class is going to be different and they are going to have different needs so i think it's important to realize that also life happens and just because you see the student every day you don't necessarily know what's going on at home or outside of school.